Okay, Man and Josh, you sell comics. James Gunn really hates Tim Burton's Batman. <laughs> and I will go through what he said, and I I don't know. I, I'm sure I'll agree. But first, sponsor. Your new multi-vendor marketplace, YouSellComics.com, offers a site exclusively for buying and selling of all things comics. Slabs, Omnis, Trades, and more sell for as low as 5% commission or zero commission monthly tiers. Run your own auctions, unlimited bin listings, YouSellComics.com. Buy, collect, sell. Okay, uh, so someone dragged up a really old Facebook post. <laughs> You would think after the Twitter thing, he would have deleted yeah. all his Facebook stuff, too. Uh, this is like a t- 11 or 12 years ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Think. yeah. yeah. Um, so, for many, Tim Burns at 1989 Batman is still the best live-action take on the iconic DC Comics hero. That's completely false. Uh, and Michael Keane's interpretation of the title character still held up as quintessential Cape Crusader. Okay, I can argue that. It's probably true. Uh, Even though those who wouldn't put Batman 89 or a sequel on such a high pedestal would tend to appreciate what Burton was able to achieve, bringing it darker. Noir inspired version of the Dark Knight to the big screen for the first time, but the man who currently holds the keys to the DC kingdom uh, sees things a little differently. Uh, A decades old post uh, from James Gunn has resurfaced and the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 director did not hold back criticism of Burton's Batman movies. It doesn't sound like he's a huge fan of Christopher Nolan's first two films, uh, this appears to be prior to the Dark Knight Rises either. Um, so no wonder James Gunn... Well, ouch, that's not fair. Um, so let's see. Get this Twitter. Bring that up. Okay, uh, so James Gunn said Keaton did have a ridiculous voice. That said, I'd rather put up with a ridiculous voice than with the horrible action sequences and acting barely worthy of a Batman TV show. Ouch. I have no idea what you can think. I have no idea how you can think that the Burton Batman has more similarities with more Miller's Batman than Nolan's does. And listen, I have problems with both Nolan's films. Uh, I don't think either one is classic and I don't even really think Batman begins as good. Ouch. Uh, but they're Ooh. far superior to the first Batman. <clears throat> None of your defenses get by the fact that the, despite the being the first cinematic dark take on Batman, so what? Stallone's Judge Dredd was the first dark take on Judge Dredd? The movie is awful. Uh, so good. Oh yeah, and Jack Nicholson as the Joker is Jack Nicholson in The Shining with shitty clown makeup. Uh, fuck you everyone involved with that travesty. Uh, the Tim Burton Batman is poorly written. The soundtrack is the worst work of everyone involved and it is absolutely one of the most boring films ever. Not only that, but the reveal of the Joker as the killer of Bruce Wayne's parent spits in the face of Batman's origin and is a nullification of the bottomless thirst for vengeance that necessarily drives Batman. It pretends not to be campy, but is completely but is completely so, and on the top of everything, the dark creature of the night can't even move his fucking neck. Give me a fucking break. It's a ridiculous, awful film. Burton's Planet of the Apes is genius in comparison. <laughs> um, so I won't disagree cool. with everything he said there, except the soundtrack. The yeah. soundtrack is like Danny Elfman and Prince. It's is great. It's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I like. Look, I like Keaton as Batman. He's the first time you really see a serious kind of take on Batman. Mm-hmm. You know, as I was born in 1981, so I didn't see the Batman TV show. This is my first, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Everyone loves Keaton, but. It's not a great Batman movie. Even uh, Batman Returns is not great. Mm -hmm. Um, There are some great things about it. Uh, (laughs) Shell Pfeiffer's Catwoman's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Um, Christopher Walken, um, Danny DeVito, like they're just good actors in a bad movie, bad movie ish. Ish. Um, Ish. But the the soundtrack was fantastic. I disagree with him wholeheartedly on the, the Dark Knight. Like, that's one of the best. It's, you couldn't even really call it a superhero movie. It's it's one of the best crime dramas. I would agree. Um, Which, okay, if he's going to quibble about whether it's a superhero movie or not, and not um, a crime drama. Like, it's just a great movie no matter what. Yeah, it's so what is 100% this? the truth. So if he doesn't like, so how, so what does he do for, if he doesn't like the campy version of 
Batman. And he doesn't like the more real version that Nolan did. Where is he going to go with it? Like in terms of tone and... <clears throat> well, I think he's probably changed his... his Mind since then? His mind, yeah, since, since then. Since 2012? But, um... When he was trying to be provocative? Get the people going. Yeah. Um, I think... Um... I think he's going to tread the line very, very, very um, delicately between um, serious and not, I guess, serious and not like I don't I can't see it being like comedic. Um, I can see it being dramatic in dark ways, but not like a like a dark drama. Yeah, because it's Brave and the Bold, right? So well, the problem is that the director of the flash is doing it so i know god damn while i liked keaton in the flash that was more keaton being a good actor with the material than yeah. the material yeah. being good yeah yeah, <sighs> yeah. well um, we'll only have to wait like six years to find out yeah just for six. <laughs> not bad <laughs> Oh yeah, can you imagine Superman Legacy doesn't come out till like twenty twenty seven? Yeah, I can see that. And then it's insane. But then, so they've already cast people now. That actor probably by the time he's done will be thirteen years older than when he started. 14 That's insane. By the time because yeah. they want to do a ten year run, right? Yeah. Man, our cats are really interested in screwing over videos today. <laughs> I do. Non-stop today. Like, I, I'm doing nothing but adjusting. Right now. <laughs> Just one sec. Yeah. <laughs> 